welcome back to my channel my name is Tanisha and in this video we're going to talk about insecure friends but before we hop into this video please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel let's get into it right now I made me a chai tea latte and it's the bomb zarkon okay <laughs> all right child let's get into this video because I'm playing and I wanted this to be a short video so you have to be aware of these type of friends. And the type of friends that I'm talking about are insecure friends. Having these type of friends will just hold you back, okay? And the reason why I say this is because I have encountered many women that have had different accolades, status, all these different things going on in their lives. And it doesn't matter what a person has. It's irritating to hear people say, well, I wouldn't expect that from so-and-so because they have this, that, and the third. But okay, so-and-so doesn't have inner peace. Confidence, joy, you know. So-and-so is insecure. When these people feel like somebody has more, they cannot genuinely be happy for you. They aren't going to applaud you. They hate when you're successful and they're miserable. And these people can be successful. I've encountered women that have had education. Like these women were doing their thing. You know, they had the money, they had cars, they had the social media cloud, all these different things. But when you meet somebody like me, you know what I'm saying? A boss like myself, you know? <laughs> Let me stop playing with y'all, but no, when you meet somebody like me who's confident in who they are and you get offended by that, all those degrees, accolades, achievements, all that stuff goes out the window. And to me, that sounds like a you problem. If you're insecure, you need to be alone. You need to just be just by yourself figuring out how you can not be as bitter and nasty towards other people. Before I got all the friends that I have now, I went through a lot with female friends. And a lot of it just, to me, boils down to people being insecure. That's why at the end of the day, you have to have joy, happiness, love, all the things for yourself. Because if you don't, it's going to spill over into other areas of your life. Like I said, no matter what you have, you walk into a room next to somebody that's confident, you feel some type of way about them. That's just who that person naturally is. I, myself, I'm a naturally confident person. That's not a thing that the next woman has that I want. If anything, I'm congratulating that woman like, that's what's up. Do your thing, get the degree, get the house, travel the world, do all these things because I know I have the desire in my heart to do what they do and it aligns with God's desires for my life. God will give me the desires of my heart, okay? If you cannot stand next to me and be happy for me and be proud of me and congratulate me, then there's no reason for us to be friends. Let me clarify what I'm saying. I'm not talking about I need cheerleaders. I don't need a cheerleader to come into my life and, you know, ah, oh, Tanisha, you're doing this, you're doing that, da, 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 you know, and never correcting my wrongs. I don't need that. What I need is friends that are going to encourage me and hold me accountable. Like, Tanisha, you know what you was wrong. Criticism has to be constructive. Like, sis, give me examples. What did I do? You know, what did I say? How did I, you know, rub you the wrong way? As I mature and get older, what I'm learning is communication. We have to be able to communicate with each other, tell each other how we felt. You know, I, I didn't really like what you said. Can you explain to me, you know, why you felt that way? Everything boils down to communication when it comes to friendships. And so with insecure friends, it's just a whole different ball game though. They can be cheerleaders, but they have on a mask. Mm -hmm. They won't be genuinely happy for you. Like I said earlier, they're not going to be genuinely happy. They're not happy with themselves. So how can they be happy for you in a real way? And I'm sorry for me, what I've learned is I'm not going to shrink myself to make anybody comfortable i'm sorry i'm walking in who i am i don't care if it offends you so this topic has really been on my heart and it's like you cannot be around those kind of people it is a internal problem that needs to be worked out in intense therapy and that's not like me trying to make fun because they really need healing. They need to find healing. And I pray for those individuals. It's just a lot of things that I require in friendships now that I didn't really require when I was younger. I will not tolerate a lot of things. Like you give me a back-ended compliment, 
I'm gone. You say something crazy out the way to me, I'm gone. You try to disrespect me and embarrass me in front of your friends or people that you know, I'm gone. These are things that I have experience with females. Like, when your heart is not right, it affects everything about you. My goal is always to be around boss women and let's get this money together, let's elevate together with no hate, no envy. I don't know what's wrong with women from a more spiritual aspect. It seems like it's just a heavy attack on sisterhood. The enemy does not want women to come together because he know when women get together, we cause some things to shake and move. And so if I can keep these people insecure, I can keep them envious, if I can keep them jealous, then they are going to mess up their lives, they're gonna mess up their connections and stuff like that. So um, that's a, just me going off to a different subject but that is what it is you know the enemy doesn't like friendship he doesn't like um nothing really you don't like you don't like nothing concerning us <laughs> you don't take no days off when it comes to trying to ruin our lives so it's to steal kill and destroy that's what he does you know so he wants to destroy friendship he wants to destroy sisterhood and so his plans are succeeding with some people i just want to make this video for those that are out there going through these situations then you may feel alone. The enemy will have you thinking that you're the only person that's going through what you're going through in your life and that's not true. So beware of these type of women. Use your discernment when you're dealing with these type of people. Alright guys, so that wraps up my video. Please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you all in the next video.